We are searching for the best classic kebab in Switzerland and one of the biggest influencers opened his own restaurant. Thickest world in Erlichon. And this will probably be the first honest review about this kebab shop because I always pay for myself and I'm never sponsored at my kebab ratings. If you don't know who Tsiki is, he's a very successful influencer. He's the face of an insurance company, has his own app, multiple social media channels and much more. And now his own restaurant. Is he as successful in this restaurant as with his other businesses? Let's find out. Let's go. Here's the whole kebab, bread test, meat test, and now the whole thing. The first thing I noticed when I was waiting, they put first meat in the kebab and then sauce, which is the wrong way. Sauce always needs to be on the bread. Anyway, I took my kebab without sauce, so it doesn't matter. The bread is very good toasted. It's also freshly baked, which I like, but look at that. It's very floppy and not really crispy on the outside. I don't know what happened. Taste-wise, it's good. You have a little bit of bread flavor, but I would prefer a little bit more the doughy flavor. And I would prefer it to be a little bit more moist. This bread is really dry. It doesn't fall apart, but it feels really dry. It has sesame seeds on top, and this is how it looks like. To the meat. The meat is obviously steak meat. Look at that. And eating it plain, it has a good bite, it has good spices. Well, quite a lot of spices, to be honest, but I like it. It fits to this kebab. Um, in my opinion, it's punchy and it has a good meat flavor. There is enough meat in the whole kebab. Sure, we can always use more meat, but I think that's a fair amount for the price. And the only thing I can complain about the meat is it's not juicy enough. You definitely need sauce in this kebab. And that's a little bit unfortunate because in my opinion, if you have steak meat, you don't really need sauces, usually. But with this one, you need it. And it's probably because they took the meat not freshly from the skewer, they took it, it was already on the ground. So at least it's not a warm drawer, but it's not freshly from the skewer. And I don't know if the meat lost a little bit of juice there. I will give you an update on the meat when I come to the end and see if the bread really soaked up all the fat vegetables. I only took tomatoes, cucumber and tomatoes and onions into the kebab, which was a good choice. Not too much, not too fancy. Keep it simple. It's fresh. It's good. Nothing to complain about. Even the tomatoes are not that watery, so it doesn't spill all over and it fits good into the kebab. I didn't took it spicy, but it still has a spice in the whole kebab. I think because of the spices in the meat. I think there is some chili inside, or some pepper inside. In my opinion, not too spicy at all, but I think people might think this is too spicy. But I like it. Quick interruption, I just had a bite of the bread, which was very doughy, very bread-like, and I really, really tasted the flour. This bite was actually really good. Quite too bad that it's not everywhere. Ah, and the whole kebab has some herbs in it, look at that. I think this comes from the cucumber tomato mixture. We're coming towards the end. It didn't soak up that much fat, look. I mean, it soaked up a little bit of fat. It's definitely not super dry, but it still could use some more fat layers in the whole skewer. Free advice for you, Zeki, a little bit more fat layers. See you in a bit when I can give you a proper review. Before I give you the final score, I had to take another kebab this time with sauce. So I just went back and grabbed one with sauce and immediately I saw the problem with this one. They just splattered the sauce all over it. It's just sauce there. When you look at it, on the back, there's no sauce. It's just here in the front. Distribution, absolutely catastrophic. I don't know. Let's see how it tastes like. Zeki's world with sauce. Obviously, in the first bite, immediately the sauce punch. Mm. A very sourness to the sauce. And then, in the aftertaste, the ketchup sweetness comes. I'm pretty sure there is ketchup in the sauce. And I took with both sauces and I only can taste cocktail sauce. The bread is exactly the same as before. 
It seems crispy, but it's not. Look at how much sauce they put on the kebab. Look at that. With this one, actually, I didn't taste any meat yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's better. When you have a full meat bite, then you can actually taste it. Because the meat is good, but even in this kebab, it's still dry. It's still too dry. It needs fat. Zeki, please. It needs the juice. It needs the fat. It needs the flavor. This has too much spices in it, this meat. I'm sorry. I want to feel the cow. I want to taste it. I want to hawk the cow. That's how I want the meat in this kebab. Actually, this time, the sesame seeds were a little burnt and they give a nice, good roast to the whole bread. I like that. I like this bread better than the other, but still, not crispy enough, not moist enough. It needs a little bit of water somewhere or oil, garlic oil or something. Speaking about garlic, the onions in this kebab are almost non-existent. I don't taste them. I didn't taste them before and I didn't taste them now. I don't know what happened to them. They have no flavor. They are inside, look at that. But even eating them like this, very mild, very demure. Zeki's world in Ölikon. I know I complained a lot, but I only wanted to highlight the critique. But overall, this is an excellent kebab. Two years ago, I would love to have a kebab like this. The competition got harder, yes, but this is still very good. Very good sliced meat, very good freshly baked bread, fresh vegetables, and take this kebab without sauce and you're good. And that's why I give this kebab an eight out of 10 and it makes it barely into my classic kebab ranking list. Good job, Zeki. Which one next?